Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the James Madison Dukes. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Dukes know they're in for a fight tonight, Dick. What are their keys to succeed this evening? Hey, if you ask me, the keys are simple, Brad. First of all, don't let them get too many open looks from beyond the three-point line. Next, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The frustration right there. He'll regroup the offense. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, that's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Count that as a personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Number 33 gets the ball. Looking for contact. Can't get the shot to go. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Inside. Great anticipation defensively. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Puts it up, looking for contact. That's eight on answer. Side. That's just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Defender right up on the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. The shooting guard takes the feed. Gets it to fall. Trying to pack it inside. Tries for two. The lay in. Fed the low block. Entry pass in the paint. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They've left him completely alone. He lets it go. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. 
Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Gave it up. Number one is eager and excited to compete. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Shoots. Way off target. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Goes up for two. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that pass away. Anticipating really well. The center gets the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He does the sweet fake shot. Good fake. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Stolen. He tries a jump hook. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Makes the shot. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Number 50 with the fake. Will take the shot. He's money with the shot. Number 33 takes the pass. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He can't get one to fall. He hits the second shot. The 
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. Thanks, Aaron. He fires away. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Up and inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. It sticks. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Getting high. Here's the three ball. James Madison are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Watch that basketball. He shoots from the top of the circle. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. That shot was definitely ill-advised. The Tar Heels love to recruit not only great basketball players, but great athletes. Hey, their systems are suited for great athletes. He's got a nice shot fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special heart feeding the post. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Here it is. He pump fakes. And they come with a double team to stop it. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. Contact causes the shot to come off. They move it into the front court. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Looking for a good shot. Right at the circle, way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. Pull up jumper from way out. Off the rim and no good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great block shot. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell you, the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Here's a flash from the high post. Jumps into the defender. North Carolina have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For two, and in and out. 
Trying to draw the foul. That's good. Gave it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. the dribble gives it up he shoots from the top of the circle outside jumper is short cross court turns it over the fake here's a double team on the inside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Turnaround jumper. And he missed. The point guard with the ball. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. From left of the circle, he buries the shot. Dump it inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fakes it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Now, back it out. Now they reset the play. There's the pick. Way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from downtown. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. You gotta let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice fake. To work it around the arc. From right in the circle. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He gets that one to fall. The Dukes have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Gave it up. Wide open for the shot. Looking for a good shot. Picked down in the air.
Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Well, that's basic. With the fake. Fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Up and inside. Gave it up. Double team down that angle. He takes a three. Way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Ten on the shot clock. Got it. Opportunity for two for one. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. This is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He puts it up there. Comes up short. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. The Dukes are behind by 11. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. James Madison has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Three-point land. Drains the shot. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. For two. And in and out. And 
And Dick, this is just playing good defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. On the outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The power forward handles the pass. Number three takes it away. The power forward handles the feed. On the dribble, gives it up, and he'll kick it back outside. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Jumps in. Nice shot. Let's take a look right here. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Gave it up. He shoots from long range. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. There's the trap. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post player flashing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Picks off the lazy pass. Pass is stolen. Terrific gamble on the interception. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I did the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. He tries a jump hook. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. For two, James Madison have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Way out on top. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Sets the screen for his teammate. He draws a foul. 
Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Throws it up. Now they'll bring it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Oh, he's got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Working it around the perimeter. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. from the top of the key. He gets it to go. He unloads a three. Got it. Spirit. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Gave it up, and he'll kick it back outside. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Coach looks on, focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Picks off the pass. They work the perimeter. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Steele, what a great strip. James Madison are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, now to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. He shoots from outside, off target. He 
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Kicks it out. Tries for two. In and out. Gave it up. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. High post flashes for the opportunity. And a guy in the post, but elected to reverse. Slaps the rock out of there. Looking for a good shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important at 15 to 17 feet apart. He makes the block. Ten on the shot clock. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. He blocks the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Controlling the ball. He launches the bomb. That's a seven zip run. Up and inside. On the inside for the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. He launches the bomb. Rims out. He intercepts it. Gave it up. And the jam. In the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure into basketball. Off the rim and no good. Blocks the shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He takes it away. The deuce lays it up. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted. A close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here on the sidelines, and everyone wants to see a great finish. On the outside. For two. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. The small forward receives the ball. Tries for two. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He attempts the trifecta way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The power forward receives the pass. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Jumped 
in front to take it away. Here they go into the break. They're working around the perimeter. Takes it off him. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the ball handler. Will take the shot. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Look at that spacing. There's a double team waiting there. On the dribble, gives it up. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. High post screen. So effective that screen. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Now they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. James Madison is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. The whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He fires away. He nails the shot. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Gave it up. Steals the pass. Up and inside. This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Brings the shot. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Working it around the perimeter. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Rims out. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Here's a double team. No good. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all.
tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Too much mustard there, baby. Easy one. In the paint for the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. We're ready to get back to the action. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Stolen ball. Here they come now on a turnover. Easy one. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. He launches a three. He hits it. the turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move now the high screen 10 on the shot clock he was applying great pressure defense went for the steal but he wound up with a personal foul instead you see that's what happens when you go for the steal you end up with a necessary personal foul Turnaround jumper. If they want a chance to win, they really need a bucket here. Despite the harm, shot clock is dead. I gotta be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. And the clock stopped with a foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. They need a basket here to turn this into a one-possession game. He shoots from the top of the circle, and he's no good from downtown. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. energy dick when they come out of this timeout it's a four-point game this one could go either way don't give up your seat he grabs the rebound on the dribble gives it up lobs it inside he tries to beat the clock all right dick this one's over one team moves on one team's got to go home and that's the sad part about the ncaa tournament well the better team won because they protected the basketball they made sure they converted on the free throw line they did all the little tangibles we talked about and that was the difference in the game 
North Carolina played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. Good night.